Hey folks, Michael Collins here again from EnviroReporter.com. It is Wednesday, November 30th, 2011, and we're down here in Los Angeles, California, right downtown near Pershing Square, and we're going to be testing this Honeywell HEPA filter. It has been running since about the 1st of September, uh, and uh, we're going to test the, uh, so about three months accumulation of dust and debris, we are going to test that uh, dust and debris for excess radiation. Uh, right at, we have taken a background here where we are uh, coming in at about 45.0 counts per minute, which is kind of high, I was surprised. And now we're going to just spot check this honey well that has been running for about three months, see if we have any, uh, just on the spot, higher radiation. This is going to be a very important test for me. I've been waiting to do this test for a while because we want to do a, see what a three month accumulation in downtown Los Angeles would yield. So let's just see what it is on the exterior part of the the model here and note that the model was not on before testing. Oh by the way this is our inspector alert. You can hear it ionizing, uh, picking up ionization. Not exactly easy to see its screen. We're just going around the outside. And we're about 70, 72, 76. This is just the outside. We haven't opened it up and pulled out the filter. Every time you hear a click, that is an atomic particle going through our sensor in the inspector alert, which can pick up alpha, beta, and uh, gamma radiation as well as x-ray radiation. So you can hear, getting up to about double background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off. We will stitch these film segments together so you don't have to watch a boring disassembly of a Honeywell. And then we're going to come back and do a spot check on the filter itself with the debris on it. Hey folks, Michael Collins again in ViralReporter.com on Wednesday, November 30th, 2011. This part two of our testing of this Honeywell HEPA filter in downtown Los Angeles after three months use. It's Honeywell model 50101. Bought at Staples for about 90 bucks. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and we're going to test right up on the filter. Background in here was 45 earlier. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, we're getting something all right. Well, we're over double background. And we've been wondering if this air be hotter than in Santa Monica at the west end of the LA Basin. This is the center of the LA Basin. We're up to 146 with the sustained CPM or counts per minute, 148, 156, 160. This is your air, Los Angeles. This HEPA filter 164 sustain. Now I'm going to start going around it after taking a quick note. And down, if you look at our other HEPA filter tests, you'll see a lot more debris. This one is actually in a building that has filtered air coming in, has central air. And this HEPA filter has obviously picked up some radiation. The inspector uh, is uh, very accurate. We've had uh, other folks using inspectors. My primary concern in testing something like this 
things. Of course, what the results are. You see, this is the inside of the HEPA filter. It looks like an air filter in a car. Uh, my primary concern is not getting anything on this detector. You get anything on your detector, you goo up the works literally, and you uh, then you can't count on any of your readings because you've already got radiation contaminating your inspector. I saw last week somebody do this on YouTube. I was horrified. It was such a shame. These things cost 900 bucks with tax, the extreme boot you see on it and whatnot. Uh, it comes to about a thousand dollars. They're not to be toyed with. Remember, our background is 45. This is three months accumulation. Just instinctually, I would think it would be more than Santa Monica just because the air has more particulate matter in it. Nice way of saying it's worse downtown. 124. This is just on one spot. We got a 164 sustain. Radiation is not homogenous. That's the reason you see different readings and different uh, patterns of ionization. And that clicking and that red light you see. You find a hot spot, we zero in on it. This has got to be one. HEPA filter. In an office is picking this up. Getting very close to the HEPA filter to pick these readings up, which suggests alpha radiation, which is between 60 and 1,000 times more dangerous than uh, beta or gamma radiation, depending on a number of variables. We got up to about 150 in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to vacuum this and then we're going to test the aggregate. It's a hot spot. Downtown Los Angeles Air. November 30th, 2011. You may not know about Fukushima fallout, but you can sure as heck learn a lot more about it looking at our testing, our comments and radiation conversation where we have all sorts of very smart people contributing their knowledge. Now we're back up over that 164, 174 sustain. I've been using one of these for, oh gosh, 11, 12, 13 years now. So I get a sense of in a spot check approximately what we're looking at. I am actually surprised that with this little debris that we're getting up these high readings like that. Let's try it this way. Oh boy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, vacuum this, put it all in one pile, and then take a 10 minute average, and towards the end of the 10 minute average I'll roll film again, we'll stitch it all together, and we'll discuss this. Of course you can comment on this by going to the video at envirorreporter.com, videos under the Fukushima section. and. Uh, I'm quite surprised. I'm not happy about it. We're looking at way over 300% of background. We're close to uh, almost 400% of background. This is significantly higher than what we got in uh, Santa Monica. This is a HIPAA filter that's not totally covered in debris. Uh, and it's on the inside of a building that obviously has a central air system and filters built into that and you can still pick this up. So. We're going to vacuum, average, and come back. 
Hey folks, Michael Collins here again on Wednesday, November 30th, 2011. As you can see, we vacuumed out our Honeywell HEPA filter filter. Remember how dirty it was? We just stitched this together and we vacuumed it out and emptied the vacuum, which also has a HEPA filter in it. And uh, we put the debris right there. Let's take a live spot shot on this, see if we get anything above the 45 background. Now you never know what I've had some of these where you get the aggregate, and the aggregate is more than what you tested in the spot test. Some of these where it's not. No rhyme or reason. All I know is, is that radiation above background should not be in this sample. Folks have talked about Radon and Radon Prodigy. Well, I understand that, but we have a, a lot of... Uh, like I said, this machine wasn't on before we uh, pulled these samples. Now up to 90, you're getting up to double background. I get down on it, but I so I get those alphas, but I really don't want to touch anything to this material. Before we had 164 sustain count on a hot spot on this filter, before we sucked out the debris, and uh, that is about 364% of normal, which is uh, substantially more than uh, our Santa Monica HEPA filter, which was running for a month and had a lot more debris. Well, you can see that. A lot of ionization. Up to 116. As you can see, radiation can come in bursts, come from different parts of this dust. We didn't get all the dust that was in on the filter onto this plate. But there you have it, folks. Downtown Los Angeles. HEPA filter coming up to about 360% or more of normal. 3.6 times normal. Collected in a HEPA filter in a building with filtered interior air. Look for this and more tests as we continue our investigation of the Fukushima Daiichi meltdowns that began March 1st, 2011 and continue uncontrolled and out of control. MichaelCollinsEnviroReporter.com